we ended up in the hospital and Sinead had um, a bacterial infection that we needed to treat with a broad spectrum antibiotic. And we didn't think too much of it. She was, she was treated, she, was, she got better. Several months later, we ended up back in hospital uh, where she was diagnosed with asthma. Yeah, we actually started to know a lot about the connection between asthma and the gut bacteria. So we all have these really important bacteria that make us healthy in our gut. And they're important for training the immune system. And if some bacteria are missing, maybe children who got antibiotics are missing those bacteria, the immune system gets confused and that's what causes the asthma. What we found was that the rate of use of antibiotics in babies, children under one in BC, had dropped by about 60%. So the prescription rate had plummeted. And within a couple of years of the observation of that trend, the asthma rates in children aged one to four began to fall also, and have fallen by about 27%. It's really exciting, the things that we're now learning and how we can apply this um, to develop better therapeutic strategies to, to intervene, to reestablish healthy gut microbiota in kids who, are, who need to be treated with antibiotics. Well, these programs to reduce unnecessary antibiotic use were already a good idea because they helped to fight antimicrobial resistance and to reduce adverse effects, and they even save money. What this tells us is that every jurisdiction in the world should be working very hard to reduce unnecessary antibiotic use, especially in babies.